Another developing story we're following SWAT officers and police swarmed the IKEA in Grand Prairie this afternoon as a suspect held them at bay. The entire area was closed off before a deadly shootout with police. Our David Goins has been on the scene since this started just after 2 p.m. He joins us live now from Grand Prairie. David. Hey there, Izzy. Roads are still blocked around this IKEA store, but nerves are a little more calm this afternoon after uh, a very frightening afternoon, not only for the customers inside the stores, but uh, Grand Prairie police officers who uh, engaged a suspect in gunfire. Now, Grand Prairie Police Chief Steve Dye said they received a wellness check call just before 1.30 this afternoon for a four-door black sedan that was just inside a side parking lot uh, at this IKEA. Store. When officers arrived, they approached the vehicle, and when the suspect did not show his hands and, and that a gun was visible, uh, officers opened fire, and so did the suspect. The police chief says then there were two more periods of negotiations with the suspect and two more exchanges of gunfire before they found him dead in his car. Meanwhile, customers inside IKEA could hear those shots volleying back and forth. That created a lot of understandable panic and urgency to get into a secure location. This video you're seeing is from Tony London. He is a customer who provided us with the vantage point of that secure holding spot that customers were in for a better part of an hour. He told us he was just having lunch with a friend inside IKEA, but he knew quickly when he heard gunshots, a dangerous situation was unfolding. Sudden, there was automatic uh, gunfire, and then we were just told to leave the area and run. And from then on, we just ran uh, through IKEA's kitchen and down into a safe place. Now, because this was an officer involved shooting and a deadly one at that, police will uh, be out here for several more hours. No word on when the IKEA store here in Grand Prairie will reopen to customers. Live in Grand Prairie, David Goins, Channel 8 News. All right.